Hey guys, Matt from Wolverine X4 R Spec Nation here. Uh, got the X4 back in the garage, got her cleaned up after the first ride out with the cab. Um, got a couple other things we're gonna install on the X4. We got Yamaha sent us some uh, wheels and tires for the demo unit. Uh, they're MSA wheels on Moto Claw tires. They're 27 by 10 by 14 all the way around pretty nice looking tire wheel combo um i just want to show you guys they also sent the genuine yamaha uh, clutch kit which is basically new weights so we're going to be showing you guys how to throw those in i uh, just want to give you a quick comparison uh the stock 26 inch maxis uh you can see the 27s are good bit taller than 26 inch Maxxis you can see a pretty decent size difference there they look to be about at least two if not two and a half inches taller um, same with the front um, so that should make a pretty big difference on the ground clearance um, we'll see if it possibly widens it up a little bit. I'll get a couple of measurements of the width with and without the uh, stock wheels in the 27-inch um, upgraded wheel kit that they do sell. All right, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to jack her up and get the wheels bolted on, and we'll see what she looks like, and then we'll start on the clutch kit. Okay, guys, so I got the wheels uh, and tires on. Um, definitely gave her a new look. Definitely made it look a little neater, and uh, definitely made it sit higher. The um, I measured the width on the machine now and front and rear uh, with the stock wheels and tires it was right at dead on 60 inches um, with the new um, wheels and tires from Yamaha the MSA wheels and the EFX motor claws 27 by 10s it's now about 63 inches uh, wide so it widened it a good uh, three inches. Uh, real nice looking tire, pretty meaty, um, alter, I'd say more of an aggressive all-terrain tire. I've never tried them out yet, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they perform, but they look good, definitely gave it a meaner look, and uh, let's get tearing into this clutch, see what we got. Okay, so we've got the X4 Toro part uh, to get to the um, clutch cover to get that tore apart. Uh, just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. Uh, the piece that goes over here where the cup holders are is held in place by, um, I believe there's six push pins, pull them out. No, actually there's five. Uh, pull that out and then this uh, center floor section has to come out. Uh, you have several clips along here and here, the push clips. And then there's some 10 millimeter bolts. The seat has to come out. Um, also, you have to take this little side panel off that has the seatbelt going through it. Actually, something cool I found when I was tearing it apart, and even though it had, uh, it does have a 12 volt accessory plug in for the back seat passenger, so that's kind of cool. Um, there's a big, huge oil tank um, where you check your oil that can be accessed through that top access panel. There's a uh, dipstick right here so that's pretty neat um as far as i know some of you guys probably want to know where the intakes and stuff are um the cvt intake uh looks like it dumps out right there underneath uh directly underneath the rear floor um it goes into a little shield that goes towards the back there but um but basically, here's the piece I had to tear apart. I uh, took the seat out, four bolts for that. Like I said, there's the cup holder section where you check your oil. There's uh, five push pins on that. And then the left rear seat or floor, floor pan section comes out. As you can see, there's four or five, six bolts on the front, a couple push clips, and it's bolted in all the way around. So, Get this 
clutch cover off, see what we got inside. Okay guys, so once you get the exhaust and intake boots off of the outer cover, there's the cover there. Um, the cover wouldn't come off without taking this bracket, the seat bracket out. Um, there's two bolts on the bottom, one bolt here and one bolt here, and then you can basically flip it out of the way to get your cover off. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that uh, before I get into the sheave. I did use one of the bolts out of the primary cover, um, basically goes right into your secondary you can screw it in and it loosens your belt up so um i'm gonna pull the uh i guess they call it bearing support this piece off there's four bolts and then we'll get into the guts of the primer and get these weights in okay guys one thing i forgot to mention is um you also have to take this uh lower brace out there's two bolts holding it in uh so you can get an impact socket on it um, I went ahead and loosened this. As you can see, you got the nut, got your spacer, and then the sheave will come off in one piece. Um, 